Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can create um, with Copilot a SharePoint page. So uh, actually, I'm now in the team site. And what I'll do is go to the new. And uh, here I have all kinds of options. The first option is to create a page. And here, actually, there's new templates that you can choose. And you can use just if I show you an example. So this looks uh, quite nice. Uh, and if I like it, I can use the template. I can use a blank template. This replace the original page that uh, you would uh, create. But I want to create a page uh, with Copilot. So I'll click on New. And now I have this option in Preview of Page with Copilot. Here, actually, I have a screen where I have all kinds of uh, templates that I can choose. Or I can type in here the prompt, and it will provide me uh, actually with a description. And I can add even uh, some uh, files to reference it. Just notice that here, there's a toggle between a, a page and a news post. A page is creating a page. A news post is for news uh, articles that uh, you can create, and they aggregate into the news web part. So in this case, I'll choose a page. And as you saw, here I can actually uh, type the prompt. I also can see some uh, prompt examples. What I'll do is I have created a, a file, actually, that is called how to support emergency, how to support employees in emergency situations. So I'll reference to this. But if I wouldn't put anything else, it would take from the internet, OK? And here in the prompt, I will say how to support um, employees in emergency situation in Israel. Now, uh, if you want, I could show you what the document actually looks like. Let's go to OneDrive. I'll look for OneDrive. And let's look for the file. Let's see when the last one was modified. I'll even look for it here. Here it is. And actually, you see, I asked Copilot to make a document that talks about types of emergency, if it's a nature disaster, or security, or health, or workplace accident. And here we have all kinds of things. So what we're expecting, actually, is that based on the prompt I write and the reference to the file, it will create a page. Notice that we can change the tone. It could be casual, professional, engaging, creative, and enthusiastic. And we can define the length, if it's short, long, or medium. Uh, by default, it puts it as a private draft. That means that only you can create it. Uh, I think it's less relevant now. Uh, but let's keep it like that. And once I'm ready, I can actually uh, click on the arrow. Now, what it will do is actually it will upload the page. You see laying out the page. And now it will start entering text and uh, images according to what the prompt said and according to the document that provided. Afterwards, I uh, obviously can adjust and add things. But let's see how it's working. We see it's now 2 out of 7. And it gave an introduction. And soon we will see it's now in page 3. And here are the types of emergencies. And we will go to the next one, how to pre prepare and plan. And as you can see here, um, instead of typing all of this, um, you can either ask Copilot to make it from scratch or to take the information that you have in the 
document. Now, once it's done, yeah, and we're almost ready, we can uh, accept what we want or we can ask it to run again. So we got to the conclusion. And as you can see here, uh, we can keep it, we can delete it. So let's just keep it. So we created a page. Uh, strangely enough, it did not add uh, images, but usually it does. Uh, but I can go to any text web part, and I will also have this um, possibility to auto, -write, auto rewrite or to ask to adjust it longer or make the how the tone will be or maybe just even create a, a new text. So if I come here, I could ask Copilot to uh, rewrite or to write something uh, better. So um, this is actually how it works. And um, here you see it asks me, uh, do I want to replace what was written? So I can say replace. I could add it in addition. And uh, this functionality is uh, quite good. Um, like everything, you need to test it. And uh, once you're ready, you can uh, publish it. And, um, and then the page will be available. So um, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, if you like it, uh, try it by yourself. And uh, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.